Carlos, this is season five of Off Your Flosser podcast. Season cinco. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to say it in Spanish. That's fair enough. Throw back to your heritage. You know. All right. Well, all right. Well, thanks for listening, Thank guys. Thank you. Here we go. <coughs> Jesus. That was that was my mic test. It's working. Mic, mic check. One, two, one, two. It sounds like you're up to about 84% on the lung capacity. <sighs> Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so I'm I'm trying something. So you can tell me if the audio is different. But I put my mic a little bit further away. Um, so let's let's see how that works. And uh, if it doesn't work, then maybe I'll just talk quieter. <laughs> <laughs> that that's always an option. That's always an option. Uh, well, do you know who you're talking to? Maybe it's not an option. I was just just being up. That is absolutely not an option in my world. Mm. That's like that's like asking Linda Sherman to whisper. Yeah, tone it down, Linda. You know what I mean? She ain't toning she, nothing. She's down, only got one. Carlos. She's only got one gear, and it's it's full throttle. You it know? is full throttle. I I. She's I awesome. I love though. her. Just I hanging love out with her. her. Just, yeah, no, nah, super. Like, the personality, the energy, is just you. You, can, yes. you can feel it radiating off of her. You know. Yes, it like she is so fun, animated, right. and if you're going to model yourself uh, based off someone, model it off of her because she has no shits to give about what people think. Fearless. Fearless. And she has um, drive. She has a mission she's she's a go-getter and Dude. she she's hot high core hardcore uh earth-minded because she has um yeah. what's her what's her company is it uh i remember get mouthy get mouthy thing. yes is that yes it? Okay, okay yeah i thought it was a couple other yeah. things too but um yeah the, what was that the uh the organic um yeah, it's Bio. it's sustainable, it's yeah, green, sustainable. Okay. that kind of thing. So yeah. you guys, you know, we we didn't ask her if we could plug her uh stuff or talk about her, but you know, go check it out because I think um if you're if you're going to appreciate someone's personality, Dude. it's it's hers because For of, sure. she's just she yeah. seems very genuine. You know what I mean? She's a sassy redhead, and um, yes, you know, aren't they all though? Everyone we know, Katrina, off the charts energy. Yes. Who else? Maybe. Just there's one or two more. I think I met somebody. Is Katrina uh, Klein? Is she redhead? She's reddish, maybe Auburn. Okay, maybe she's a bodybuilder. Yeah, like a no, not not like a in a super husky sense, but like um, yeah, like the fitness Would you say competition more fitness? type of thing. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Ergonomics is her thing. Dude, we got to get all these people on here, bro. Yeah, so ergonomics. She was at uh, she was in Missouri not too long ago, or maybe I missed it, or maybe it's coming up. I don't know, but I'm telling you, like last week. When I told you I was like, I need to I need to just take some time yeah, yeah, for yeah. me and like yeah, recoup. Some sandy like, time. Yeah, because I was noticing like dark bags under my eyes. I was like coughing up a storm. Well, tell, tell John to take a night off, man. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> tell John to take a night off, you know. Uh he always takes care of me though. He made like homemade chicken noodle soup. And I'm talking like ho made. Because I mean home made because <laughs> like he boiled the chicken with the vegetables to make a broth okay he freaking made the noodles and threw them in the oh, soup wow. as, yeah we're talking yeah, no, home. He's not messing around dude he raised the chicken you know he was straight S- up slaughtered it, it and it I mean? was it was made <laughs> yeah I, i'll say this man my dad he doesn't do it i don't know if he does it anymore yeah. But when when my stepmom was still with this guy, you know, rest in peace, you know, Carmen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. If you went over and you had, you even thought about having a sniffle, um, he'd be like, "Carmen, start the soup, right?" And this fool yeah. would run out, and it was a, and I don't know how, Peter unfriendly this is, but it was a live farm place, 
Oh, they yeah. would freshly yeah. slaughter them for you. You know what I mean? And my dad's a farm guy. So before yeah. anybody gets upset and how cruel is that? Everybody, if you eat meat, shut up is, is all I'm going to say. Because somebody yeah, killed the damn thing, you know? Somebody had to murder something. That's to, all I'm to, saying, to you know, for you to have that, so. that grilled chicken, those grilled chicken fingers or whatever. But And they do it. They do it in a humane way. Oh, it's instant. And, you know, and here's the other thing about being a farmer I have not seen more people more animal conscious than farmers because sure. they have to hunters? have healthy animals. Well, that's one thing. And you know? hunters are all about ethically killing something. You don't you don't shoot it with darts and, and, and Yeah, you don't like try to take its legs out. Thing. You want to kill it let instantly. it bleed out. So yeah, it, you want to hit the heart, you want it to to drop quickly, not yeah. suffer. Like Yeah, I mean it's Yeah. Oh, we we should anyway, all be that anyway. lucky. If somebody wants to kill you mercifully and, yeah, and don't as quickly take my as legs possible, out. just you know? do it quickly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and, okay, back to your story. Anyway, so, so he he, he would go takes out this chicken, and he he would go get a chicken. That's all. That's all you need to know. This thing wasn't never been frozen. So, I don't think this chicken's ever been cold because it, it was just walking yeah. around thirty minutes. <laughs> they ago, got like you know a warm I mean? light and a blankie. <laughs> and 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 I'll say this: a far a real farm raised chicken compared to like the commercial farm chickens don't even look like the same animal. To be honest right. with you, yes. And I'm like, Dad, this thing's kind of scrawny. He was like, "You ever seen like, like a carny that weighs about 120 pounds, but he can bench 400 pounds? Cause, one, because yeah. he's on that meth, but two, they got that strong, <laughs> they got that lean tendon strength. You know what I'm saying? And that's what yeah. these chickens are, bro. And uh, yeah, you eat some of this soup right here, dude. You ready? You ready to scale the wall like freaking Spider Man? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know if that's true or not, but. He he swears so that it's it's got more vitamins and shit than 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 it the commercial does. chicken, like so the supermarket the chicken he, tastes better. Oh yeah, and it's yeah. way fattier. But this one, I think, it might be healthier because it it was raised on yeah. you know corn yeah. or rice or whatever it is they feed them. I don't know. And guess where people are running at the zombie apocalypse when you don't have any food source? Where you ain't going to the supermarket. Supermarket's done. Mm-hmm. You go to a farm. Yep. You go to somebody who knows how to grow their own food and yep. but anyway, let's not talk about that. Yeah, that's uh that's uh that's a, that's, a, that's on the uh, survivor oif uh episode. Look, yes. What do you got? Can you read it? A house is not a home without pause. Thank Aww. you. Yeah. Yeah. I I agree. I um Yeah. I love animals, but I still eat them. That's going to be a bumper sticker. That has to be a bumper sticker. I don't know if it's why it's not a bumper sticker right now. We need to we need to make these bumper stickers. Man, ninjas huh. don't cry. That's a I t-shirt. love animals, but I also eat them. Sorry, PETA. You know what I mean? Sorry. Yeah. And and anyway. again, you know, like I don't want to give the wrong impression. We're all about loving animals, but Oh, yeah. Some of them are delicious too, so that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and we've already talked about eating like people and stuff. So, yeah. man, if people were this delicious, you better watch out, <laughs> dude. Because there's a fat guy down the street, dude. I, I got my eye on his ass. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, Little ribeye? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I got my eye on him. Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah. Sorry, I sound like I've been a chain smoker for 20 years, but I'm still getting over this little bit of cough and stuff. So, did you ever smoke cigarettes or no? Uh, like routinely, I smoked, I, I, and I don't I mean like once at a party. I, I mean like you know, were you, were, did you ever stop at the Seven Eleven and let me get a pack no. of Marble Lights? You, were you ever that 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 person? No, I bummed four cigarettes off somebody at, on a Fourth of July party once. Huh? Why? That was you said four cigarettes. Four. Because it was the fourth. Yes, I was being Goofy. patriotic. Yeah, I um. No, I just, I just wanted to, and I was, so that day. You didn't get dizzy? Lord forgive me. Oh, yeah, it gave you that quick little, (laughs) Um, that's why I kept doing it. Hell yeah, Um, son. We were uh, drinking um, Irish car bombs. Do you know what those are? What is that, like a beer with a shot of something dropped in it? It It is a glass of Guinness, and Bacardi 151, I think that's Mm. what it is. Or no, Jameson, a shot of Jameson, you drop it in there, and you chug it. Well, once that's a quick way to get one messed up, 
quick. And if two, two smoke four cigarettes in a night. And maybe three, chip, chip your front teeth out. Because you got maybe. a shot glass coming at you 100 miles an hour like a lunatic. It's an Irish thing. I feel like they chip their teeth a lot, whether they're fighting or drinking shot glasses okay. or glasses. So it wouldn't um, be un- unusual. Yeah. The other thing we were drinking was, mm. I can't remember if it was that night or another night, but strip and go naked. It's a drink. That's a drink? Yes. Or an activity? It, it, it's kind of both. Like, you drink this <laughs> for this. You get a big pitcher. You do one you before make, the other, right? <laughs> you make lemonade. You pour, it has beer and vodka in this lemonade. Oh. And you can't taste, like, I didn't taste alcohol. I just found myself in a field naked with raw meat in my mouth. I don't know what happened. Blood everywhere. Hair yes. underneath your fingernails and teeth. And then the next day, somebody ended up missing on the front cover of the newspaper, Shh. but I ain't saying Who, who hasn't <laughs> done that? You know? Right. I mean? Right. Exactly. Call in if you have not done that, because I need to talk <laughs> woke to up in a you. field and there's a missing person. I mean, that's how most good stories start, you know? Right. I woke up in a field. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, I I gotta pause for a minute. Can I can I take a break for like two minutes? Sure. Yeah. Um. It's a little bit of an emergency. Okay. Okay. All right. I will pause the video. Okay. All right. Pause your audio though. Okay. I'm. I'm, I'm pa- okay. <laughs> I, I, I like, figured something was up. So you never bounce that that quickly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was almost an accident. That would have been um, probably the end. Oif. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, that would have been a good episode. Let's tell that story. Well, I I, I don't I don't know if we really want to go down that that road. <laughs> the mode road. <laughs> Get but it. I um. I, I, I've, how do I want to say, I've had some close calls, you know what I mean? Yes. I think anybody, you hit a certain age, you're going to have some, maybe some full-blown accidents, maybe a, you know, I a few close calls, you know? You know, one so, thing I don't do, ever, yeah. on the road, ever, cheese, dairy, yogurt, ice cream, any of that. Yeah. Dude, if it's got, if I even think it has dairy in it. I'll drink black coffee. I don't. I don't mess around, dude. Just because I, I, wow. I, I can't trust it. Yeah, I just, you know, because well, it's one of those things. It's not like you can. Okay, you know, I feel something coming on. It's like, boom, it's things like are happening. It already came and went right now. Yeah, no, dude, and, and that's that's a horrifying feeling. Like and, this uh, rest area, one mile. Nope, nope. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm kind of dreading that those moments when we get that to that point because you hear the horror stories in the, um. Facebook groups. Oh my god! Of you know, we had we had this old man come in and he crapped all over the bathroom. Like, how do you get it everywhere? I've heard of that happening. Like, and I've been. I luckily, thank God, I've never had to clean any of that. But I had people um, tell me that yeah, we had a guy and it, it was everywhere. And I'm like, that sounds like a nightmare. Is that? Yeah. I mean, is that a mental thing? Is that just? And it I just got away just, from you. I mean, what happens? How does that I, happen? I just don't think your body works like it used to. It's horrible. You know, you have that little thing at the end, and it's like maybe it's stuck open. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's, 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 that's bad. <coughs> that's bad. My goodness. Oh, we never said that this is episode 201. Should I say 201 or 201? What would you well, say? Is it, I think, isn't this? Wait a minute. Is this or 202. Old? Oh, this is 202. Okay. All right. Cause, yeah. Because yeah. um, Ian's is I was out, out last week. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And who did you have? You had Ian Miller. Ian Miller. Yeah. And then we had and our- And did uh, Becky co-host? Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I yeah. love her. Like, I love that she can fill in. Um, And I felt bad, like, bouncing on you. But I was just like- I went to my massage last night. Here's a little tangent. We always do these but tangents. Before, before we go there, I, let's just okay. say thanks for to, to Ian and Becky for, 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 oh, for coming in last week. And uh, yeah, yes. so we really appreciate it. And that episode, it, it's out now. 
by the time okay. you hear this yeah. episode, if that makes sense. Cool. Okay. Yes. So, yes. So you can go, so go back and listen to it. Yeah. Um, but my massage therapist, I told her that, you know, I, I, I was like, man, I didn't record the podcast last week. Cause I just, I really needed to stop a minute and take a break for myself. Like my eyes were just dark and I feel mm-hmm. like I'm just, you know, not, not up to par. Um, so I needed that little break. She's like, I'm so proud of you for realizing and taking that time. And inside I'm going, so you're saying good job being a slacker. Thanks. No, <laughs> That's I, how I, I felt. I, I, I think just hearing that story, and I know you're not that person to feel sorry for yourself, but I hear, you know, sometimes you just got to just shut it down and take care of yourself and and yeah. you know, I I don't know if I told told you this. I may have, or you know, I'm like I told everybody near me. I was like, listen, I'm gonna be a little bit more more selfish with my time for mm-hmm. health reasons, for financial reasons, you know, right. for you know, yeah, my mental health, you know. So meaning, if yeah. you, if I'm going to bed early, it's not because I'm trying to get away from you. It's because I need to rest because I got a busy day tomorrow. You know what I mean? That that type right. of thing. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and sometimes you got to just shut it down, man, and do what's best for you. And and we're old enough yeah. to know what you need. You know what you need. You know what I'm saying? So Sometimes. Sometimes. I don't know if it's a matter of being old enough. I think it's a matter of being in tune with yourself. And I have, sure. I feel like I've never been in tune with myself because I was always like, you know, if somebody needs me, I try to make everybody happy. And that's... Right. You know, it's sometimes that's aggravating, you know, going down this, you know, serious note, um, you know, John has, he's taken the back seat to other people before. And if you think of it, that's even dangerous. like biblically, your relationship with your husband, your spouse yeah. is supposed to be number two, you know, uh, for Christians, it's like number one, God, Jesus, you know, and then, and then spouse before anything else, you know, even kids, if there were kids you know what i'm saying cuz cuz if if the yeah. foundation you you and him aren't strong then everything else kind of crumbles after that and and you right. don't want and your your partner to feel like they're not as important to you so yeah you do what you got to right. do you know what i'm saying so. and you are so when you have kids not that i know this thing but i mean i can understand it even though i don't have children and i i understand it's difficult but this is my view of it like they are watching you yeah. to learn how to be a human. Sure. So if you are fighting a lot, you're accepting poor behavior towards yourself, things like that. Language, you know, kids whatever. Are, you know what I mean? Your kids are learning that. And, you know, and that's why like that number one um, in the, in the immediate family, the, the number one relationship needs to be your um, spouse because of the, example that you're setting and the naturally when you love each other you're gonna love these children that you've made together and things like that you know and and you meet their needs and and you just you know i i feel like we've as as a culture we have gotten away from the family unit you know because everybody's off in different places with their phones and things are moving really stuff quickly like that. well all i'm saying life is, dude, goes so quickly if some dude was um Making me homemade chicken, you know, with and homemade noodles, bro. I'm gonna spend some extra time with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want, part dude, the, bro? You know, let's let's problem, hang for a little bit. You know. Part of the problem, though, is like, guess what he's doing right now? I don't know. Not he's sleeping. Watching, he's watching Saturday morning cartoons. You know. Nothing wrong with that. I didn't know. First off, I didn't know they still had that. Um, Because that used to be my shit back in the late 70s, early 80s, bro. It's like Bugs Bunny and Friends. It's on me TV, like regular television. Saturday morning old school cartoons where they're trying to kill each other. Super Friends, bro. I used to love that nonsense, dude. You know? Yeah, this, I mean, this is like Wile E. Coyote. Oh, that's like classics, man. (sighs) Classics. Yeah. That's just that he just also, means he's an old fashioned dude, bro. That's all that means. <laughs> yeah. And then um Three Stooges comes on every Saturday at like five PM and it, no matter where we are, if we're not at home, he's like, I'm missing three stooges. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. a simple man. Yeah. It, it he's complicated. 
but his I feel like his needs are simple, you know. Most guys are. Most guys yeah. are. You know, food, cartoons, a little, other a little attention. You know, a little attention, and uh, they're, yeah. they're good. Yeah, don't yell at yeah. him so much. Don't spend every nickel we got. And I think we're gonna be fine. You know what I mean? And he 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 enjoys and is at peace with a clean home. So I've actually been working on that. Um, here's another tangent. I started following a a different podcast called Clutterbug uh, Podcast, and she talks about like tips to organize your home and keep okay. it decluttered. Um, and then there's this Fly Lady Plus app. Um, and I think she's on TikTok or something. Fly but Lady? Fly Lady. I, I, I don't she know. She a frog she, or I something? I guess she flies what, around and cleans up her house. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. okay. Not, it's not like the, the fly, fly with, what's his name back in the day? What is his name? About. The movie, The Fly, where he gets stuck in the Oh, Jeff Goldblum? And, yes, yes, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, that was a creepy anyway. ass movie, dude. <laughs> it was weird. Anyway, um... The the only part I like is fresh in my mind is when he like spits his fly stuff and he oh. like that guy's hand melts. Anyway, Gross. but these are apps that help cool. me get a routine. Like my problem is, and one of the problems that that uh, John and I communication style, I need a list, okay. and he tells me, "Well, you're an adult; you should know what needs to be cleaned up." And I'm like, "Yes, I get that, but I also get distracted." crazy easy oh you talk so if i have about? a list yeah so this gives me a list without him having to sacrifice his time and energy in making a list okay and hopefully he's happy he hasn't said anything though Ugh. just as a quick aside um do you have one of those dry erase boards on the fridge or somewhere and we use the that entryway for or whatever you guys shopping call? list yeah yeah how about it that's all list? we use it for it's a small one okay I told you, I have a giant one in the garage, and I want to chop yes. it up and yeah. use it for other stuff. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. maybe make a frame, and like a legit frame, hang it up in right. my office just so I can yeah. paint things I need to do today. Because I get I, – one of the productivity hacks that I've read and I've been told about, and um, yeah. I've had other people tell me, hey, dude, you got to make a list, and you got to put it in your schedule. Is uh, yeah. is making that list and putting it in the schedule. It's in, in if you go, okay, I have to do X, Y, and Z, you're not going to remember that tomorrow. You, you, you're not, you know? And, and, oh, no. shoot. I, didn't, I forgot to call so-and-so about whatever. And yep. here's another day that's wasted, you know? Speaking I set of almost, reminders. Oh, sorry, I man. set reminders on my phone, and they haven't been going off, so it's aggravating. Because I, I was sitting there face down on my mas- uh, in my massage last night, and I go, oh, crap, I forgot to call this. And I forgot to check the hours of this place so I can go by there, blah, blah, blah. You know, so yeah, list, yeah, yeah. write it down, check your, mo- uh, your notifications or whatever. You know, there is a hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. I'll tell you right now on Google. Here it is. I know I saw it somewhere, <laughs> should have made a list. Gmail, right? Yeah, you open up your inbox, right? On okay. the far right, it'll have the calendar, um, something that says keep. And there's a new thing called tasks. I don't know if it's new, but I just found it huh. recently. Yeah. So you yeah. click on that, boom, you can make your list of stuff. Anyway, yeah. So it has a, a thing where it'll tell you what to do. Okay, March 31st. Okay, this is last week. Okay, I'm freaking out because I it, it, I thought it had something oh to do God. tonight. <laughs> it, it says <laughs> today at four thirty. What is that? Why why is that on there? I got a weird reminder <sighs> on my phone. That says, do you want to add this to your calendar? And I was like, what is it? And it was a flight. Like, it said flight tomorrow at 4.35. And I was like, what? I don't have a flight tomorrow. And then I started going, did I, do I have a flight? Am I going and, somewhere? No. I think it's from last year or something. Yeah, maybe if it gets a date wrong. And that's m- what I did wrong, obviously. Because it, it yeah. says today, 4.30. And it's not today at 4.30. It was last Friday. So yeah. I don't know what yeah. the hell's going on. Uh, and that's another point. If you do use this <laughs> task thing on Google, put the right dates in there, man. Don't, don't oh, yeah, you got to put the right you know, date. If you don't put the right date, then, you know, it's that's, that's worse than having than not doing it at all, really, I guess, right? Yeah. Speaking of, yeah. Uh, that was a show that I did on the south side of town yeah. last Friday, right? Mm-hmm. In uh, Peachtree City. I didn't Peach see any peach Tree trees. City. 
um, which is what I was thinking, you know? Yeah. And honestly, dude, I've been in Georgia over 20 years, and I've never seen a peach tree. So I don't know where the hell they grow these peaches from. Peach I get my peaches tree? down in Georgia, you know? And I don't know yeah. where these peach trees are. It must, must be South Georgia. I, I don't know. Are, I don't you, know. are you talking about, like, is there a peach tree in? Like dude, a hotel? The peach state. Every, it, it, it's all about peaches in the state. And I have never seen a peach tree. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I don't know where to look. I know oh. we got apples. I'm on the northern end of right. Georgia, you know, headed towards South Carolina, right? An yeah. hour away, they grow the most amazing apples. <laughs> and I told you, I don't mess with no apples unless it's those pink ladies, son. You oh, know? yeah. Pink ladies are nice. Dude, tart, firm, crunchy. It's making my mouth water right now. Just like me. Tight, firm, and crunchy. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. But I told you last year I went up. I had a gig somewhere, and I stopped at an Apple place. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At an yeah, Apple yeah. store. And, and you were like, computers? I was like, no. It was like, <laughs> no, Apple, like apples. you eat them. <laughs> and I bought a, a barrel, like a small barrel of apples, dude, for 20 bucks. And it had to have 18 pounds of apples in there. And they were all wow. the size of, like, giant, the big $2 apples, bro. I mean, I must wow. have, uh, supermarket, $80 worth of apples yeah. for 20 bucks. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. That's I've never crazy. eaten more apples in my life. They were freaking amazing. Me and Anthony, you know, were, we were appled apple out, dude. I was like, we got to make pies. I, I Next time I go, I'm we're, we're going to bake some pies. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to okay. cook with them, you know. It's really good. Like, you just so throw good. them in a skillet with uh like, like a little bit of sugar and cinnamon and just let them simmer down a little bit oh dude yeah i don't Throw want all extra sugar some. but i might i might do it for that because that sounds amazing you could try it without and see yeah. what happens so good like i don't even like i, I stopped eating apples a long long time ago because i would get like like a weird reaction on the inside of my mouth i don't know oh i'm like that with tomatoes like like it feels mm. like the mucosa would thicken and, and get puffy for a little bit, like on the inside of my lip, on the inside of my cheeks. Yeah. Kiwis will do that to me, oh. and peaches, anything fuzzy. But then apples was doing it for a while, so I, I was off of apples for a long, long time. Does uh, mango? Nah, dude, I I get down with mango. That's the, that's the Puerto Rican Does, in me, bro. Did you know that mango um, is related to poison ivy? I did not know that. Yeah, so You're I looked that it up. up. No, look it up though, to, just to verify. But I remember because I would take the skin and I would like scrape it with my teeth so I didn't lose any mango. Oh, oh yeah, no, dude. And yeah, then my that's lips would that. break out into tiny mm. little blisters. And I was like, oh. man, and it happened to my sister too. And we're both like, we highly, like, we get poison ivy like nobody's business. And then I looked it up, and it said that yeah, it's related to poison ivy. So um, I was like, "Well, shoot!" Now I, you know, I have to cut it up and make sure there's no skin. All right, here you go. Okay. Foods from the poison ivy family. That is, that sounds horrifying, right? Yeah. Cashews, which is nature's oh. um, special nut. I don't. Um, I don't break out with that. They look like teeth to me. Cashews are gross, and uh, that's a stance that I took a long time ago, and uh, I'll reinforce it them. today, and uh, we can agree to disagree. Okay. <laughs> Mangoes and pistachios are edible cousins to the poison ivy plant. Did you know that? Pistachios? Just mangoes. Just mangoes. I eat both of those. Don't have a problem. I've eaten all three. I, I'll eat. I love mangoes. Pistachios are cool, and cashews can go to hell, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, all right. <laughs> And there uh, you have it. <laughs> there we go. And it's something called urushiol, urushiol, an oily substance that, that's present in the plants and is often yeah. released when touched, like poison ivy or bruised pistachio, cashew, mango, or poison ivy. That's crazy. Yeah. So if but you when, rub by the, the time the nuts you, get to over. you, like all that stuff's gone. Hopefully. <laughs> but no, mangoes, I, yeah, the skin. Hmm. You know I used to live in Cuba, right? The Navy base in Cuba, Guantanamo Bay? Did you know that? Maybe not. I didn't Maybe tell you not. that. Maybe not. Yeah, my daughter was almost born there, and um, but uh, so the, but they flew my wife out to a Navy hospital out in Virginia Beach somewhere. 
Oh, okay. Or Portsmouth Naval Hospital. Right. I, I can't remember yeah. where it was, you know, but Norfolk. I was cause maybe I was concerned because she was, you know, she was going, she was a preemie, so she was tiny. Uh, you know what I mean? So they, that's why yeah. they, they were concerned. So they flew her off the base right. just to make sure. Yeah. So uh, I was there when when they they sliced her out of uh, out of my wife and uh, so anyway, um, the point is I was on the at the at the house on the base by myself yeah. for 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 a little bit and then yeah near the end they started moving people out of that neighborhood because they were going to tear it down and and oh. when people moved out they weren't moving people in they moved them into the new base housing right yeah so yeah. we were one of the last units. Because we were we were leaving in December, and I I looked it up somewhere, and their houses now before it was like um like four unit you know condos or whatever yeah. is yeah. I, 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 if that's a, a way like to a explain quadplex, it like a quadplex yeah instead like of a, a quad duplex. exactly yeah and there was a fire across the street so that family moved down right and it, um, the dog died in the fire it was just a mess yeah dang. Was, and these are cinder block homes. Yourself. Made in the fifties, so it was like an oven. I mean, so uh, hopefully this yeah. thing didn't suffer. The point is, they yeah. had mango trees in their yard. I had banana trees in mine, right? Okay. So in the middle of the day, I would when my daughter was asleep, I'd go over there, and it was like I said, it was abandoned. No, no one was living there, and I yeah. would pluck because the mangoes would start to fall, and I would grab right. ripe mangoes off the tree, and I'd grab like yes. six or seven of these suckers, right? And they weren't big, but they were nice, yeah. right? Yeah, and I don't know if you've ever eaten more than one or two mangoes, but you better not leave the house. Is all I'm saying because it, it'll uh, it'll soften everything up. You know what I mean? Like and, uh, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe did you have some? <laughs> you have some poisonous yeah, mangoes. Yeah. Anyway, dude. Oh. Uh, and it was just amazing getting free yeah. mangoes across the street, and then I had it, there were the little bananas. You've seen the little bananas. Yeah. Look, and we had those growing in our yard, so it, it was like free. Grocery Fruit. foods, yeah, yeah, yeah. The night before we left, like before we, the uh, the night before we left the base, I found a scorpion in our backyard. Ooh. And I go, okay, yeah, it's time to go. But there were anacondas there, dude. There were all kinds of uh, Ooh, buzzards. Dang. Yeah, these things called nutria. We call them banana rats. Picture a giant ass rat, dude. And I'm yeah. talking like 12, 15 pounds. You know, a giant rat. Uh, like a oh damn beaver with, with a rat tail, Wee. you know what I mean? They're so they're invasive, invasive, invasive in South Florida. Where yeah. if you, in, in if you hunt them, they'll give you like four dollars for each one that you kill. Goodness. Yeah, and, and I was watching an episode on uh, one of those cooking shows, and the the guys went out to to hunt these things. He yeah. Goes, uh, we went out earlier, and the guy had a like an airboat, you know, with a big fan on the back. And he's yeah, like, yeah. And we went out earlier, and we got some gas, and we got some beer money. So now we're just going out for fun. And uh, so they have a twenty two, and they're just popping these things, and they have one of those claw things. And they were, yeah, go, dude. And that looks like a crazy time. And uh, I think you got to be a wow. little a little drunk to to do that, right? <laughs> you know, because there's Goodness. alligators out there too, man. Anyway, mangoes. Uh, I did not know where poison ivy can. Damn, we we go down yeah. these weird rabbit holes, don't we? Yeah, yeah, but you know what? People are learning stuff, so you're welcome again. Yeah. Um, my dad grew up in California, and he said that uh, they had avocado trees, so he would just grab Ooh. avocados. Yeah, yeah. I read something yesterday that blew my mind, <coughs> right? You know, I went What's to go see my mom two weeks ago, right? Yes. And she goes, hey, Carlos, you like avocados? I was like, I love avocados, mom. She goes, I have three right here. I'm like, what are we waiting for? Crack these bitches yeah, open, Yeah, right? let's do it. She's like, they're not ready yet. And I'm like, dude, what, what, what are you teasing me? What are, what are you doing to me, Ma? You know? Yeah, why would you say that, Ma? <laughs> Saw a thing, and it said how to ripen a mango, uh, 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 an avocado. Yeah, you put it in, in a paper 10 bag. Minutes. No, no, no. I'm talking. Oh, what? They wrapped it like in a, in a towel. In a towel, was it? And they put it in, in, a, in an oven for 20 minutes at 200 wow. degrees. And then when it cools off, it's soft. Never heard that. And I'm wow. going to try it. I'm going to go to the Publix. Yeah. I think it's five for four, four for five bucks or something like that. Grab yeah. some of the little ones. Grab one of the hardest rock ones. I'm going to bake that shit in and see if, if I can get it soft. Dude, go to work. Take a video. Put it on TikTok. All right. It's like educational. 
Whoa. <laughs> There's a dude I watch, and he talk. He's always cooking stuff on uh, in a yeah. in an air fryer. Does Does John use an air fryer, or does he think it's no? The devil? He says we don't need an air fryer because our oven does that. It's oh, just wow. basically a convection okay. oven. So okay, okay. It has an air fryer setting, but he said he can't figure it out. So okay, yeah. My son is an air fryer genius, Ooh. bro. Yeah. Oh, okay. He, and he's like, Yo, Carl. <laughs> I made these wings in the air fryer, bro. And I was like, how did they come out? He was like, du jour. And I'm like, I don't <laughs> even know if that's the right way to use that word. But he was like. No, dude, but dude, that's cool. <laughs> these wings are on point. And I'm like, so he'll heat up stuff and he, and he just comes out amazing in there. I'm like, let, let me try one of those wings, mm. dude. He's like, I only got eight, man. I'm like, let me get one, Yeah, dude. now you have seven because I'm yeah, eating one. Yeah, give me one. <laughs> I gave birth. Eight, uh, or I made you. Yeah, and I think I've used the thing once or twice. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, he's he knows how to how to monkey with it. Good. But I saw wow. a guy you can make hard boiled eggs in it. Did you know that? Yeah. I mean it makes sense. I, I never even thought of something like that. No. You can do them in the um Instapot too. Hard boiled eggs. Somebody you know what doing... I think? I'm sorry, go ahead. I think I want to get John um maybe for his birthday because it's coming up in June. You should come up. We're gonna do a seafood boil. Oh, yeah, yeah. You told me. Yeah. Man, that sounds delicious. I too. haven't figured out the date yet because his aunt and uncle down the road can't do it like the weekend I was going to do it. So I got to move it around. Uh, but Big Tuna can't come up like every other weekend is dad's weekend. So I got to figure the dates out and stuff. But anyway, I think I'm going to get him a Blackstone grill. And I wasn't Ooh. going to. I wasn't going to. Like, yeah, yeah. Who needs that? It's a griddle, you know, Everybody blah, blah, blah. That. But we went over to a guy's birthday party and he was cooking on it. He just got it. And I feel like John would love it. Oh, my like, God. Like cooking outside so you don't have all the, you know, you don't seek up the house or, you yeah, know, whatever. You cook everything. Like fish, whatever. <laughs> but Stir I was fry? prices. He told me he told me his was like three hundred bucks or less or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's that's pretty good. He has one of those egg. It's a Komodo Joe grill like you got. Okay. Yeah? And and I was like, ah, oh, he grills all the time, dude. So this one has two pull out air fryers underneath. Shut up. But it's like six hundred bucks or something, dude. I don't know six hundred something. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Mm. Uh, when's your anniversary oh it's this month it's in um it's the 24th round, round that shit up into, into two gifts man yeah i guess i could dude he'd love it i feel like he would and we've got yeah. room on the deck he'd lose his mind crazy let me tell you something Smash i burgers. don't know much oh, i don't know much about anything right but i do know that men love Cooking outdoors, one and two. Yeah, uh, if you could do multiple things at once, that sounds that yeah. sounds amazing, and that's badass, bro. A giant Waffle House grill outside? You're, Are you right. crazy? And he used to he used to be a short order cook before he worked oh, at a fancier God. place. So you get him a spatula and, and just stand back and just bring a fork and a napkin, bro. And that's all you need to oh, do. Man, smash Damn, burgers, I, man. Smash I might have burgers. to come out now. Jesus Christ, that sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> we have um a couple of accessories for our like you know grill right and um, yeah uh Elijah and, and and you know Michelle and Sean and them for my birthday last year they got me uh some accessories for the grill right cool nice. they sent me this big ass iron cast iron skillet thing there's the only yeah. way I can describe it right stick it on the grill. It gets hotter in places. It has a little rim around the edges, so when I cook chicken thighs, they don't get direct heat. But it's like it's like I'm frying outside. If that makes okay. sense. Okay. Okay. And the oil comes from the own chicken. Jesus. So yeah, and dude, the, the meat always never gets burned. It's always well done and just just nice. so tasty. And um, and we use it for burgers. We use it for steaks. We use it for everything. And um, I'm like, this is the best money we ever had. You know what I mean? And wow. That I never spent. But yeah, so uh. The point is, if yeah, if you got him that, I guarantee he'd lose his mind. You know what I mean? That yeah. sounds amazing. He'd be like, why'd you right. spend the money? And then uh, after those first few smash burgers, you're going to be like, okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. 
cheesesteaks. Yeah. Plus, stir fry. Man, you can do stir fry outside, dude. That sounds yes. amazing. Tacos, That's what the guy did. Shit. He did some hibachi stuff, and Bro. I was like, that is that is the shiznit. You're cracking eggs, papa, right on the thing. What? You know what? You know what, Carlos? Let me tell you a secret. Get close. Get close. What? What, what, is, what is it? I benefit from it too. Y'all yeah, most definitely, bro. He's cooking for me. Well, you know, you know, <laughs> it's got to be an upside for everybody, you know. Yeah, so it's like a both of our present, you yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, dude, that sounds amazing. And I don't have to clean up the greasy splatter from the <clears throat> kitchen. No, I just turn it on, let it burn off, and then scrape it off when you're done. Let me ask yeah. you something. What is that? Does that run on gas, propane? How does that work? Yeah, yeah. You just get one of those propane tanks. So it has a, like a burner underneath it and heats it all up. Dude, that sounds amazing. Yes. Yep. It probably has a cool side, and he can put cook a yes. little bit so and set over there. You can yeah, turn it down dude. a little bit on one side. You know, Shit, three or four I want one now, areas. bro. Yeah, and then the air fryer is electric though, so it had it would have to be able to plug in and stuff. Yeah, you run a little extension cord or whatever. Oh yeah. It, yeah, that's yeah. what we have for the grill because it has a charcoal starter, which is just a like a oh um, yeah 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 oh we an love element, that thing. heating element you put yeah. in there. You know, I used to I have like a regular um, a regular grill, like you know charcoal or whatever, and the yeah. lighter fluid and the shit never worked, and it always tasted a little funny. And John I doesn't really use lighter fluid. It. He so would now, use those charcoal starter like can things. I got you. I got you. That you got put you. paper under and start yeah, it, but yeah, now yeah, he doesn't yeah. need it. Yeah. But we have that electric starter thing too. Best thing yeah. in the world. Best I thing know. in the world. You know. I know. Well, it sounds like I don't know why we never got this before. I'm like, well, you, you never know. even thought about it. No. Like, it didn't even know. come to your mind, and then and it's, this it's thing been around comes with it. Twenty years, because yeah, Macaulay Culkin used it on Home Alone. Remember that? Yes. He put it on put the, it doorknob. the doorknob. Yes. How did he not burn the house down? Is all I want to know. He's a smart it was a metal kid. door. It had to be a metal door. Yeah, I guess. Because the yeah. doorknob connected where it was red hot and it didn't yes. burn. That was bullshit. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, he'd have burned the house. It's down. a movie, though, Carlos. Yeah. Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. He was cute. He turned into like a weird adult, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's he's weird, a looking. weird looking. But, yeah. you know, whatever. You know, I mean, it, we're probably weird looking, too. Oh, so. yeah. No, we're totally, totally weird looking. But, uh, all right, man. I think it's about time to start Saturday. What do you think? I think it is, but no, just real quick, just okay. last, last thing. I, I talked okay. about that far show and on the south side. So yesterday I did one on yeah. the northwest outside of Atlanta, so a okay. town called Marietta, another ninety minute drive, right? Oof. Six people, and it was sixty degrees, maybe fifty eight. It was freezing, and the two ladies were sitting there like this, and there was two other couples, and they were sitting there, and everybody was cold, and I'm like, Jeez. I am so sorry, but thanks for coming out. But I had to do an hour, and I didn't have a jacket or anything, dude. I just had a short sleeve, you know, golf shirt type of thing. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I'm like, what happened? It was 80 degrees yesterday. And they were like, we don't know. I go, well, thanks for coming. And uh, so we, we just had a, a great conversation, really. Yeah, and then the yeah. hour flew by, and I'm like, that's crazy. So I, yeah. I did material, but it was more like us talking with each other. Yeah, and uh, you know, so I thanked them for coming out and uh, helped the girls clean up the chairs and tables, and uh, we got the hell Aww, out of there. That's yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. So it was cool. I went to bed early. Yeah, yeah. They shut it down. I was What's dying. early for you? I don't know, ten thirty, eleven. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I, w- I was doing On a Friday puzzle. night. I was done. I was doing a puzzle last night, and I I don't know. I just I guess I'm old now. I'm I've passed that threshold. But I bought the office. It's um, I have the poster of it. But um, it's a, uh, it's hard to explain. It's based off of another painting, but they did it with the office characters and stuff. So I was breaking out some puzzle pieces last night. How many pieces? Thousand. <clears throat> so Thousand pieces? Tiny. Yeah, it's a little, but. I'd lose then my the cats eyesight. start jumping up on the table. And I'm like, no, nah, no, this ain't working. Mm-mm. So. Yeah. Well, let me know if you ever finish it. Put put it on the list. Put it on the yeah. put it on our email. <laughs> the last puzzle that I did with John um, was a I think it was a thousand pieces, and it took us I uh, a couple weeks before we got done. Yeah, and then we took a break, and then went back to it. You know, sure. it's that kind of thing. You do it in bursts. You don't sit there. Yeah. in one marathon yeah. session. It's like trying to watch all three Lord of the Rings. You can't sit down and watch them back to back. Yeah, you you'll fall asleep at some point. Yeah, yeah, you need a break. All right then. On that note, guys, yes. make a list and uh, check it twice. Get it done. And, and so. do stuff.
goose productive. Stuff. Get done. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh, oh, and uh, make sure you uh, go floss yourselves. Most of, if you do anything, go floss yourself. Yeah. Right, Episode two oh two. Boom in the books, guys. Yes. Take care. Take care.